actual time. Good afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Terrific. Well, I wanna welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for the introduction of our new leader for St. Rose Women's Basketball. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that we are experiencing a very challenging time as a nation, unimaginable and painful. We in St. Rose Athletics decry all forms of social injustice, racism, and violence. Together, we stand to uphold the ideals of our founders that we are called to, a profound love of our neighbor without distinction in a spirit of unity and reconciliation. Thank you. We began the search for a new women's basketball head coach in mid-March in pursuit of a dynamic leader, passionate about developing student athletes on and off the court. I never envisioned my first hire at St. Rose to be during a pandemic. Our interview committee consisted of campus and athletic administrators, coaches, current student athletes, and alumni. Coordinating all these different groups along with the candidates was quite a process. <laughs> and I'm happy to say that after 20 different Zoom sessions, um, actually 21 if you want to count this one, <laughs> we have it all figured out. Throughout this process, I was often asked if I was looking for someone with head coaching experience or if I wanted a male or a female coach, if, it, if I was looking for someone with local ties, a recruiter, a top assistant, a defensive-minded coach, an offensive-minded coach. My response was always, I'm looking for the absolute best coach I can find to lead our Golden Knights. I'm thrilled to announce today that coach is Whitney Edwards. After my first conversation with Whitney back in April, I knew there was something special about her. I hung up the phone and ran right to my husband and I said, oh, I really like her. <laughs> of course, he wanted to know why. The answer is that Whitney is a leader. She's a proven recruiter with an eye for talent, a relationship builder. She's a competitor, a winner, and most importantly, a positive role model to the young women she coaches. She's amazing, and she's going to do amazing things for St. Rose women's basketball. So it is my great pleasure to introduce Whitney Edwards as our new head coach of St. Rose women's basketball. Whitney, welcome home. We've been doing a, a lot of uh, air hugs, but picture an air hug happening right now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Good, good. I'm uh, really excited to be here. Uh, definitely am, am just ecstatic about this opportunity. And similar to what Lori said, as far as I couldn't imagine that it would come in a pandemic, my first head coaching opportunity. Nonetheless, we're here. Uh, so I'm just ready to make strides. Uh, it's all new. It's brand new for everyone involved, and it's just time to get to work. Hi, Nina. Hi, Sham. <laughs> but, um, I, you know, I would love to just hear from everyone. If you, you have questions at all, um, I can speak best to, you know, answer and, and go from there. Whitney, this is Liana Bonavita from News 10 ABC. Nice to meet you, and welcome to Albany. Um, Thank you. Lori had said that you were the perfect fit and the perfect uh, candidate for this job. Why was St. Rose the right fit for you? Oh, there's a lot of reasons, but I mean, the most, uh, the biggest reasons that stand out, you know, one, the any 10 as a, a league itself is, is outstanding. You know, I've had the opportunity to work as an assistant, um, you know, with Stonehill College in the past and just for familiarizing myself with uh, this league, uh, as a coach was outstanding. I had a great experience there. It's a, it's a great level of competition. Um, you know, whether it's division one, two or three, you know, it's just a, a conference that does a great job and, and has a great product. Um, you know, I am originally from New York state, Mount Vernon, New York, and to be a little bit closer to home is outstanding as well. And uh, my family is really excited to get some games, you know, once that's able to happen and, I'm just really excited to bring my family, you know, here to, to be a part of this family now. And um, I just can't speak enough about this opportunity being in my home state. And, you know, lastly, one of the big things was trying to find an institution that I really believed in. Um, you know, it's all about leadership here. And, you know, throughout my career, leadership has been at the foundation of everything that has helped me find success. So finding people, you know, especially women in leadership who are just excited to create opportunities. Um, I just felt really connected to the overall mission of the school 
um, and, and Lori being in, in charge and at the helm of things here and in her first year, just taking an opportunity to give me a shot, um, it, it has meant a lot. So I, I'm just excited and, and for all those reasons, and you know, getting to meet the team as well, um, just added to that. I think we're, we're all really excited to take a new path and, and see things change. Coach, uh, Chris Honorado from News Channel 13, the, uh, the NBC affiliate um, here in town. Congratulations, first off. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm four months out from a haircut, so I feel some <laughs> of the pandemic pain. But um, <laughs> in all seriousness, when you're going through an interviewing process and there's so little human contact, obviously you can Zoom and all these things, but but was that a challenge for you in any way? And, and I'd love to get Lori's thoughts later too. Was that a challenge for you in any way to, to know that the relationship with both the administration, but also the players was, was going to be right? Uh, definitely different to gauge. I mean, I think as you spend time with people, you get to know more about them. So, you know, it's not like I was interviewed one time and, you know, everyone was ready to make a decision. You know, we went through the process and through that process, I spoke to a lot of different people who, who echoed very similar things. And I think if you can find the, the underlying themes, you know, that, that really match up, it, it starts to make sense to you. Um, and I think they've been as transparent as they could be as far as what it was going to look like. So as much as I could, I knew what to expect in some senses. But, I mean, it felt great. It felt like the right thing, you know, the conversations I've had, the things that I've heard, you know, why people choose the College of St. Rose as an institution, you know, whether they're here now or they're former players, um, all of those things were echoed similarly. So it, it just felt like the right thing.